look at that thing so like you've seen in the thumbnail this is probably the most terrifying motorbike i've ever ridden in my life not like the zzr 1400 which is you know it's still a pretty ridiculously fast bike but this is a completely different beast this is a, a 2010 zx10 uh, i would say it was 95 percent standard the five percent is it's had a few things done to it it's had suspension done it's two teeth different on the back sprocket it's got a full system uh braided lines a few other little tweaks as well which the owner big matty over there isn't quite sure of it's full of carbon fiber now what i will say as well every bike that i've ever been kind of up against while being out and about on the road hasn't really come close to catching the zzr to be honest um it's just a, it's a bit it's it, this bike is totally fucking different because it, it just pisses people off all the time it's like it's a turbocharged couch however this thing this gets away from that very very quickly uh and this bike pisses me off because of it <laughs> so if you're in the market for uh, a sports bike which is going to scare the fucking pants off you yay, then this is the one this, this is the bike to have so we're going to take it for a little whip the weather's not fantastic it's still a little bit kind of cloudy and slippy and shitty um so we're going to go and do our thing even fucking sound scary oh my god my old fucking fat ass let's talk about just how stupid this motorcycle is okay so it's horrendously uncomfortable horrendous but Jesus Christ it's fast this thing is absolutely fucking mental Like I said in the walk around, I'll probably shout now because the adrenaline's just left me bubble. Like I said in the walk around, this bike is the only bike that actually gives the ZR 1400 a run for its money, even in stock formation. You know, this thing is fucking stupid, stupid, stupid fast. So, whatever this bike, let me just slow down a little bit and uh, kill the wind noise. Whatever's been done to this bike internally, because the previous owner, I think had done a couple of track days on it, and uh, it had had a few little tweaks, obviously with it, an air filter, there's no quick shifter on it, um, I wouldn't even think that you would fucking need one to be honest, you know we are on British roads as well for a start, you know what I mean, it's not, it's not like we live on some American highway state where we can we can do 200 mile an hour all the time on these bikes but even just in six gear I'll tell you what was happening there as well is that it's six gear that was just a roll on and it was actually pushing me back in the seat trying to throw me off the back of the bike so look you know a few grand will get you a 2010 absolutely insane machine you know if you like to ride quick and you like to get in the bends and get your knee down and do all that kind of shit which i'm not a big fan of doing anymore i have done it it's not something that i, I particularly set out to go and do now don't get me wrong i love a zx10 Again, when the ZX-10 first came out, I was kind of drooling and touching myself looking at pictures and videos of them. This thing is fucking stupid. Stupid. But in a good way. Not in a bad way, but in a good way. It's really loud, this bike as well. It's got a GR system on it, like full system. It's noisy from the front. 
because of the uh, the air filter that's going to be on it I'm assuming the air filter is going to be but let's just wait I was having a little look to see if I could pop around there but there's actually a car in front of the van so I'm going to wait and there's a little bit of caution really I was out with the lads on my vintage bike Blew the doors off a ZX-10 I did The only thing I don't like about this bike is It's predominantly it's a race bike isn't it, that's what it is You know, There's no polite way of saying it, this thing is a race bike On the road It's very 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 uncomfortable My spine, my back My bum hole, my knees Everything is aching already but I would definitely have one of these bikes, I'd definitely have one. I would probably have one of these. Um, but that, I think that's the, the main reason that you buy these, is that you buy it because you just want to go everywhere, either on one wheel or very, 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 very quickly all of the time. The ZZR obviously is a little bit more sedate until you twist that throttle and it, it sends you into, you know, hypersonic missile speed. But look, motorbikes are all different, people that ride them they are all different, you know what I mean? It'd be interesting to see what Matty thinks of, of that bike, that ZZR, compared to the ZX-10. Um, we laugh because, you know, we, we call that bike the, the turbocharged, the turbo couch. Oh, the back brake on this thing is so far down. But I do believe... And it's not, it's no, you know, no shocker, you have to respect this thing, you really have to respect it. I mean, I had the 954 Fireblade for a, for a long time, and that was a phenomenal machine. But it was quite forgiving, that bike. You could pretty much do what you wanted, and it wouldn't, it was like, oh, okay, don't, all right. Oh, just. But the ZX-10, I think, is a completely different beast. You know, this thing, if you get it wrong on this, you're coming off. I think that the thing with this bike is it's not like a Jixxon or a Blade where they can be a little bit more forgiving no. Kawasaki have a habit to think of making bikes to feel fucking raw they feel weirdly feels like it's a it's an old bike but it's not that, that's just the, the only way I could kind of describe it and then when they did something like this this is when everything gets a bit more refined and smooth and polite whereas that it's just the bastard child of the lineup. It, it's just ridiculous, yeah. Whereas the Jixxes that I've ridden and the Blades that I've ridden. You've got a yeah, you can be a bit more fucking like stupid on them and, and it'll be like, oh, naughty. Whereas this, it's it's gonna spit you off. It will spit you off. It doesn't feel like a fucking road bike in any any sense. And absolutely none. It just feels like a race bike, that's all it feels like. It's just, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal bike, it's ridiculous how good it is. But it would get me into a world of shit. That's what I said, it's like, you've got all that available speed, but you can't use it. No. Do you know what I mean? You can use it for like it's like being a porn star with a 13 inch dick, but you can't get a hard on. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You're like, well, I've got this fantastic tool beneath my legs, but I can't actually fucking do anything with it. Exactly Which is, again, I know it's a weird analogy, but... It works. But look, as always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment, let me know what you're riding. What do you think of the ZX-10? Is it something that you have or you've had and you got rid of and if you uh, subscribe and like that kind of helps me out as well kind of gets me out of bed in the morning you know it makes me want to makes me want to come and do this all right take it easy guys and i'll see you next time y'all